Um, this question. Oh, I wonder if there's a way to do this using Wolfram Alpha. There might be. <laughs> let me give it a try. So uh, let me, because here there's a bit of um, um, relationships to be aware of. So let me first write it down <laughs> so that I know what I'm calculating all from alpha. Let's calculate the final temperatures uh, when some amount of heat is uh, transfers into 1.5 some mass of the following uh, originally as some um, temperature. Um, okay, so this is the relationship between heat or heat transfer and change of temperature that you should remember from your reading that we also talked about last time. Heat transfer can be related to change of temperature by specific capacity times method amount and together these are called uh, heat capacity. Specific heat capacity just means uh, heat capacity per mass, or depending on co context, sometimes you might have specific heat capacity per volume. Um, but I, I hope uh, the usefulness of that concept is clear. It's like how density is useful. Um, so those times change of uh, temperature. So, so let me work this out algebraically. So these will be... Um, Co coefficients that will vary depending on if uh, we are talking about water or concrete, or I guess mass will be the same, but uh, heat cap specific heat capacity will change. So with that in mind, let me write this out as C times M times the change of temperature, T final minus T initial. So I can solve this for T final, and let me do most of this in my head. Um, you are welcome to pause the recording and double check if I did it correctly. <laughs> and uh, if I did it correctly, it should look like T final is equal to uh, heat transfer plus C times M times initial temperature divided by uh, C times M. So uh, uh, let me just do the whole thing and divide the whole thing by uh, specific capacity times mass. Okay. So, so that's the algebraic expression. Once you have that, then the rest is plugging in numbers. And this is where Wolfram Alpha is useful because it can, uh, it's unit aware, and you can also look up some of the uh, constants. So let me try this. Um, so 1.5 kilocalorie plus, let me try this, specific heat capacity of water. <laughs> times the mass, 1.4 kilogram, times the initial temperature, 22 degrees C, divided by specific heat capacity of water times 1.4 kilogram. Um, the nice thing about Wolfram Alpha is it'll tell you how it interpreted your input. So you can see before imbuing any meaning to its answer, you can see if it uh, understood it correctly. Okay, all right. It doesn't do this um, combination very well. <laughs> so, all right, I gotta, uh, you know what, I think it's gonna be quicker for me to have the textbook reference. So let me have that <laughs> and uh, just look up the specific capacity in the textbook and then um, <laughs> we'll go from there. Uh, specific hit. We have a table of this. Um, so we have, yeah, or water. Um, so I'm going to do something that normally I wouldn't recommend, but let me do it to show off um, Wolfram Alpha's capability. So I'm going to use this number, 4186, which is in units of um, joules per kilogram uh, degrees C. Um, this joule doesn't match with the unit of kilocalories, so normally I wouldn't recommend doing what I'm going to do. But um, Wolfram Alpha is able to do that conversion. So let me just copy that number. And it's a joule per kilogram times uh, degrees C. Okay, I think it, now it should be simple enough for Wolfram Alpha to process. Let's see. 
Oh. Huh, it could be struggling with a decrease C. Um, I'm gonna get rid of it because my decrease C unit will cancel out uh, between that uh, denominator and um, this unit here. And my final answer is gonna be in unit of decrease C. So let's give that a try. And if it doesn't work, then I'll do this more properly. Okay, 1.5 kilocalorie. Okay, 1.4. Oh, 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 I see why it was struggling. It was struggling because of this. Okay, one um, plus that, that. Okay, that seems right. So, and yeah, the unit is not going to be right because, um, well, let me put, uh, try putting in the degrees of C back in because it was a struggling with that other um, thing that was there <laughs> where I was trying to have it look up the. Uh... Okay, I think it might work. Uh, so, um, by work, I mean, I can just put in degrees to see where they are supposed to be. And if I do, then I should get my final beautiful answer in degrees of C. I think, yeah, there it is, 23.1 degrees C. And double check this input interpretation. Make sure that's what you meant it to do, so 23.1 uh, degrees of C. For water, for concrete, all right, I got to look it up. Uh, concrete, concrete. That seems right. So I'm going to replace all the instances of water um, specific capacity with this. Oh, and this is the other thing that Wolfram Alpha is nice for. it. Um, you can edit your input. So when you have to just change one thing, you don't have to retype the whole other things. Okay, 27.3. Uh, let me keep going. Still. Um, 452 31.9 and finally mercury oh i hope that's listed um yeah mercury 139 are they getting smaller Mercury specific it is a lot smaller than I thought it would be. I mean, uh, I, I, I don't have it memorized, which is why I'm looking it up. But it is quite smaller than I thought, uh, 54. All right, so that should be it. Um, <laughs> pretty simple. Um, it, so, you know, you might do a little bit of algebra here. And I hope this is not uh, problematic for people in this class but do let me know i'm happy to do any algebra review um especially for steps that you see me skip because i'm doing it in my head i'm happy to uh, do it line by line um, i do know sometimes people do need reminders and um, sometimes uh, and you know i've had uh, people in the past who didn't really have a good math class they uh, learn all these procedures by rote and <laughs> a lot of those rote procedures don't apply to as you go to higher levels of science and math and and I'm happy to cover that I I, I do love math and I, I'm happy to get down to basics